Hi Pisces, welcome to your tarot reading for the week of May 3rd through the 9th. It's Raina and just putting these. Sorry, I think they're doing work upstairs, so there might be some thumping. Okay, well it looks like um, you're beginning the month with a bang. I'm recording this on the 1st. And um, on the 3rd we have Mercury uh, coming out of the shadow. And for you, you have this additional card as the heart of the matter, the Ace of Wands, which is a card of very robust new beginnings, a sense of independence, a, a sense of self-empowerment. This could be even um, that you're launching a business and um, May is a good time for that. I'm sorry, my uh, my cord keeps slipping out. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's really good for that. And actually, um, let's look at the, the cause for this. The full card, that sense of new beginnings, the zero point of creation. And this is a place where the, you see the person, I guess it's a fool, you know, and Let's look at some of this. Now, I don't know the esoteric symbolism of it, but just looking at it from a literal point of view, the person's looking to the heavens, holding a a white rose or a white flower, you know, white symbolizing purity and uh, that clean slate, okay, uh, for me at least. And just looking up, not looking where they're going and and you could see that there's <laughs> they're a, they can possibly fall over a cliff if they don't watch it but they're like trusting in the universe they're not worried about what it looks like you know and this is what happens a lot where people are too concerned with the mundane side of it and they're not looking at it from the spiritual point of view and the law of attraction says, don't worry about the details. You put in your order to the universe and let the universe worry about how it's going to make it happen for you. And um, I'm, I'm reading a book right now called Playing the Matrix by Mike Dooley that you may find very interesting if you're looking for that kind of a boost in terms of co-creating Law of Attraction material. What is the Fly in the Ointment card? <laughs> that's what I'm calling this now. I'm, I'm sure that's a very antiquated phrase, but uh, I, I like those kinds of sayings. Uh, the Lovers. Well, can it be another person who is um, creating a distraction that prevents you from taking a new beginning? Of course. Maybe it's um, a love relationship that has gone bad, gone sour. And now you're left with a lot of drama and it's keeping you from being able to launch, a, you know, to, to put all your energy in launching a business. Or um, the Ace of Wands could be a new passionate relationship with someone who might also be possibly of the fire element, Aries, Sagittarius, which is the usual suspect for Pisces or Leo. And a former lover, a spouse is is putting the, um, you know, putting a lot of um, obstacles in front of you, giving you um, a lot of grief about it. Also, the lovers could indicate that you can't make a choice about something, that so it's keeping you from really initiating those new beginnings uh, or really embracing them. It can be dealing with a Gemini person. Um, what's the other possibility? Well, I was going to say something too. Oh, well, I was going to say like if you were in business with somebody else and you've decided to go it alone because you don't think that it's working out between the two of you, maybe you're doing the lion's share of the work or putting in most of the financial investments and you feel like it's lopsided, then that could be kind of creating that sense of like um, friction between the two of you and you just decided 
I want to, I might as well just go it alone. What is coming in is represented by the Page of Pentacles. This can be a small financial gift of some sort that, you know, in this particular scenario would allow you to um, be sustained while you're launching a business, while you need to wait for that money to come in. It could be about going to school. So maybe there's something uh, that you're trying to take. Um, I mean, some course that you feel that, that would be beneficial for you to take in order to um, successfully launch a um, business or, or um, yeah, like, you know how some people take those online business courses. Maybe you feel like that would help you quite a bit. And you, because you don't know, you're, you're very enthusiastic, but you don't have all the details. It can also be, uh, Page of Pentacles can be a message about hearing about money, you know, good news about money. Um, if you or your child has been um, waiting to hear about financial aid, this might be the week that that happens. And um, the outcome is a card that is very interesting. So I think that some of you are going to do some kind of a training because the aid of Pentacles is about perfecting your craft and uh, maybe even an apprenticeship. So this, these two cards could involve, um, what do they call those things? It's like an apprenticeship, but it's, um, uh, <laughs> sometimes I can't think of the, uh, the words, um, you know, where you work as, um, you might work for free internship, you know, but I think that Something that I think you will be making money because the pentacles are involved. So I think that um, I don't think that you're going to be working for free just so that you can put something on a resume. But you're going, you know, you're really going to take this seriously, whatever it is that you're endeavoring to do. If this is a romantic situation, you may be um, talking to somebody who is an earth sign. And this would involve, um, so, you know, when I said that about the Ace of Wands, and I was talking about like that the person could be a fire sign, the Ace of Wands could just mean that you feel the sense of freedom. Maybe you're coming off of a divorce, and you it was a long-term marriage, and you feel like this heady um, bit of freedom. And you hear from somebody, you're communicating with somebody who's of the earth element or very earthy. So we're talking about Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And... Um, really um, getting to know this person better, perhaps. And at the same time, maybe you're very involved in whatever your work is and, you know, making a good living uh, at this time. And uh, life is good. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Pisces, I hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like a private reading, please click on the link below. Okay, take care. Bye.